Okay, welcome back to Dina's Ink Inspirations. I wanted to share with you something I've been playing with. Um, about two or three years ago, I had been playing with some bookmarks on glossy paper. I like to save my scraps instead of throwing them. I like to make books art, bookmarks and just give them away. Um, so what I was doing, I used the branches from the Nature Sheet 29 from Stamps, Stampscapes. I can't talk today. Um, and then I had tried a memento ink and the distress inks and I really like the look I get with the distress inks better. Um, I mean the memento one looks pretty nice too but I can't get as much uh, like I can't get it quite as uniform as I can with the distress ink and then I seem to get a little more detail. So I'm gonna do it with the distress ink. And it's very quick and easy and fun. So let me get my stamp. I'm just going to use ground espresso. That's the color I just pulled out. And ink this up really good. I want to make sure I've got it all covered and inked up good. And then all I have to do is use my little spray bottle and if I want more water, I just spray closer. If I want less, I go further away. Um, right now, I'm going to go less water. Let me get this out of the way. So I'm going to go a little further back. Uh, I'm going to get a little more. Okay, so what I see happening here. You see how on some of the leaves I got a really nice little mist and then some of them I have some blobs of water? That'll change the effect that I get. So I'm going to try to get this part over here with the blobs. So hopefully you can see the effects I get from either one. Yeah. So. <laughs> I love the way that comes out. I love the detail that it shows up in those leaves. So right here on the top, there was that was one of those little blobs of water. So it spreads out more and it's a little more, like a little less detailed. Um, can, I hope you can see that. Where down here there was less water, so there was looks like there's more fine detail in that side. So let's. You know what, let's just try one with the memento. Just, just cause. Oh, and something else I've noticed too is with the memento, a lot of times it'll start out, as soon as I stamp it, it'll start out with quite a bit of detail, but then as it dries, it seems to kind of, I the detail seems to go away. So let's see. I'm going to try not to use too much. Okay, so see I've got those little areas where it's just a mist and then the little areas. So where it's thicker, let's see. Okay, let's see what this one does. I want to see. Hmm. I've never had that before. That's new. I could see like right there, that's where it was from. It looks kind of neat though, doesn't it? So anyway, what I, what I have noticed, like the memento will start out like that. In fact, let me show you one. And it'll look more detailed. But then when it dries, it looks more, I don't know, it's like the detail goes away. I still kept some there, but when I do it with the distress ink, and once it dries, the detail stays a little better. So I prefer, I prefer the distress ink, but it depends on what look you want. Oh, and then I was going to show you this too. This right here was one I just I used the distress, but I used a whole bunch more water on it, and I got this kind of a neat little watercolory look. So. That's a fun way you can go about getting a watercolor look. Wow, I can't talk today. Um, 
a wonderful little look there of watercolor and um, and just play with them have fun see what you can come up with I, I find glossy paper a lot of fun to work with especially with things like this so I hope you have fun with it and have a really wonderful day and thanks again for watching